friends and we're back with another video and yes I'm wearing the same jumper as I did in the recent video because I am filming on the same day. I have a day off and thought I would just get a power of videos done and then that way I can just sit and edit them as and when I want really. But today I thought I would share what is in Pixie and Roxy's bag. Now you will probably remember that we had a bag that looks like this and it basically has all their grooming products, everything that they need in here um, and a few other bits and pieces really. So this is what their old bag was like and I have taken from this bag and put into this bag and organised. This bag was mainly for when they had long hair, which they obviously you can see they don't have now. Um, but in this bag, and I do need to clean the brushes in here, I've obviously not done that. Um, I have like the wee hair ties there, if you can see. And I have like the sprays, the grooming sprays that we use, which was the Artero, I think is how you pronounce it anyway. Um, and another spray which is just in a clear bottle. I have their Pet Silk Brazilian Keratin Oil which smooths and detangles their coat which basically, look at the hair on this, which basically is good for if their coat is dry, there it is there. Um, and it smells really nice if you want them just to give them a kind of touch up smell um, when you don't need to use a spray. So we've got that and then we've obviously got the Chris Christensen slicker brushes and then we've got our comb, we've got a pair of band scissors and we also have the Paw Sore Balm which is the organic neem and lavender and we got this in one of our boxes and this is really really good, it's a good balm, I think it was a Pet Nature box we got this from and as you can see I have used it if it lets you see, I don't know if this is focusing because obviously it's white and the lights are shining on it. But it has been used and it is really good for the dog's feet. It's nice and soothing and that is us. And oh, we've got a foo stick. which We got this from our paw post box. So this is the foo stick protect. Which basically just does the same as what this does. Um, we haven't really used this. We tend to use more to use this because it's organic and it is really nice on the dog's feet. So that is what is in our old bag. Now you might notice that some products are missing. And that is because we have it now in the new bag. Which let me show you. Because they're short hair now, we don't need to use as many products as that. Um, but I'm not going to get rid of them. I am going to keep them because at some point in their life, I do want to grow them out again. It's just not... I just can't do it at this time in my life right now. So, And it is hard work. I managed it for eight months. And eight months, I groomed them myself. They were halfway, three quarters of the way there. And... Obviously, I just didn't get to the full coat. But let me show you. So this bag I got from Superdrug. And it's obviously a cosmetic bag. But when you open it up, it's got like the coat hanger. So it's one of these ones that does like multi-purpose. And when you open it up, it basically has like um, three compartments. And you can hang it up, which I, I'm not going to use it that way. Um, and I have divided everything into the pouches that I need. The only thing I have sitting out is a product that's not going to fit in here. But I will get through to that. Okay, so in this first compartment, we have our spot on, which we get free from the vet because we pay £12 a month to be on the pet plan. So this is their spot on here. We get three every three months so i pick them up every three months i get a message through on my phone to say it's time to administer your dog's advocate which is a spot on this one's for medium dogs and it's between four and ten kilograms so i end up getting six obviously because i've got two dogs and they got this on last week i think it was the day before no it was the day after they went to the vet um last week so it was last wednesday i have two each left for the two of them so um i keep them in there and i'm due to pick up more very soon um 
and that is a spot on and it stinks and I hate it and oh, it's just you want it you automatically go to stroke your dog and it's like you forget the spot on's even on and your hand is stinking I hate it I really do okay now the next thing we have in here excuse me a wee minute my mouth is really dry okay the next thing we have in here is Pixie and Roxy's toothbrush and toothpaste which is something that we are using this year so this is their toothbrushes now we obviously have two different ones so we can tell them apart because we don't want to use the same brush for the same dog it's not like you know I use the same toothbrushes but Jamie does because that's just rotten and um, so we have two separate brushes for them this is Pixie's brush because this is the brush that we got when obviously we got it as a puppy and we got the dental kit so this is her brush, it's the white one, and we use the small head for her because they do have small mouths. We don't want to shove a big end toothbrush in their mouth because that would hit the bulk. But we have the small end brush for her and we use that and Roxy has the red handled one, which is just really the same thing. It's the same size of head of brush. But that's what we're using to clean their teeth just now. And the toothpaste we have is the Vireback Animal Health and it's CET Home Dental Care. It's poultry flavour and it is enzymatic toothpaste. This is what it looks like. My mum gave me one of these so we have two of these. Um, the date on them is 2018 and I obviously bought this last year and obviously didn't use it. As you can see we've used quite a bit now that we're starting to brush the girl's teeth um, and this is good because once the tooth once it touches the dog's teeth it starts to activate so that is really really good um, and it is quite pricey for toothpaste I do want to get the vanilla and mint one that one looks really good but only seems to be America you can get that in it's always America you know I would love to get stuff I do get stuff from America, as you know, but I would love to like be in America and just get all the good stuff. They always have like the amazing things for dogs, and I miss it. I really do. I really want good stuff for my ladies. Anyway, so along with that, what doesn't fit in the bag is this, and this is Tropiclean Fresh Breath Made Easy Instant Foam, and it freshens breath without brushing. Obviously, we are brushing, but we are going to also freshen breath because. Roxy's breath does stink and it always has stunk. Even as a puppy, she had a minging breath. Not as bad as Pixie's. Now, dog's breath can be rotten, but hers is just extremely rotten. So I'm hoping now that she's going for her scale and polish. And, well, she's already been for the scale and polish by the time you watch this video. But, and I don't can't tell you the results really. Um, if it has helped or what, I don't know yet because obviously I'm filming the day before the scale and polish but this video is going up after the scale and polish so anyway, I'll find out and I'll let you guys know in another video if um, the effects of the scale and polish has had a good effect on her breath I think because the way her teeth are just now, her breath stinks and it's worse because of the way her teeth is but this foam is really, really good. It basically, you just scoot it in each side of the mouth and it freshens up their breath. Now, they absolutely hate getting that put in their mouth and they run away and they, oh, they just hate it. They hate anything going in their mouth, unless it's a treat or a bit of food, believe it or not. Okay, now in the last compartment, we have just some of the grooming products that we are still using right now and um, we have two pairs of scissors so we have just normal hairdressing scissors and then we have the safety scissors which I use to cut you know on top of their nose and get rid of any kind of hair that's going in the eyes so we have that and then we have our Chris Christensen um, gold series pin brush which we absolutely love I love this brush this is the best brush ever so if you guys are looking for a pin brush, get the Chris Christensen pin brush, whether it be the Gold Series or the Normal Series or whatever series, get this brush. This is amazing. 
So this is the brush we're using and I mainly use this for just kind of all over body and the tail. And then for their head I use this Chris Christensen um, face and feet comb and it is very small and as you can see it's got the small pins on this side and bigger pins on this side or bigger gaps even between the pins and this side is really good for going through the moustache getting rid of any eye goopies um, and basically getting rid of any kind of knots or mats in between the moustache which does happen because every time they eat a meal they decide to rub their face and clean their face on my carpet and they do end up with mats so they do get a brush um, every now and then with the comb. So that is it really that is what we have in our bag it's a lot simpler than what we used to have and it's better than just everything being dumped in the same bag. Um, it's a lot more organised and I think it's going to help me basically um, get more into grooming again and teeth cleaning and putting their spot on it's just all there in front of me in a drawer and that is it so that is what is in the bag at the moment there could be more stuff later on down the line now let me just show you one or two other things if I can get up my legs are all stiff now oh Now, we use a fragrance um, called Doggy and Digbana, Bama, not sure, but it's a designer fragrance and it's a dog cologne and it's a K9 one and this um, cologne or perfume or whatever you want to call it, we got in our groomers round the corner and it basically has like this much left in it, it's such a good spray, it lasts for days and it has a chamomile to soothe and refresh the skin and it smells amazing and it's not a strong smell but it's a smell that lasts for days and I find it does help the dogs relax just a wee bit so we use that spray so for their teeth cleaning as you can see they're getting all excited because you are not getting one I'm just showing everybody they get a green. Now we use the petite size which is for dogs between 8 and 11 kilograms. Yes, I know they're not 8 kilograms but when you see the smaller size ones that's just something that my dogs can choke on and it's just a choking risk. So this is the size of greenie that they get just now and as you can see it is um, quite considerably large it's a good enough size for them to chew on and you get 20 in a bag and I did pick up another two bags so I literally have 40 greenies and whatever is left over in this bag no no today's not teeth cleaning day tomorrow is teeth cleaning day but you're going to be getting your big scale and polish tomorrow so you're not going to get one tomorrow either because your teeth will probably be all sore. Okay, you guys. So that is basically what is in Pixie and Roxy's bag. That is really it. If you have any questions, leave us a comment down below and I'll comment back as soon as I can. Give us a thumbs up and as always, please subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.